Hey guys, what up? Lil Jinx for coming to you with our ninth installment of our Skyrim playthrough series. So we've taken a little break to play the Destiny beta. You should check out those videos. But today we are playing the second mission in killing the Emperor, breaching security. I've been waiting for so as you're about to see right here, we're going to be having a lot of fun and killing a lot of people. Stay tuned. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty. His security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sithis. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge, or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow and deliver to him the judgment of sin. Okay, so after all the talking, we gotta head over to Dragon Bridge. Now, right now, I did not have Dragon Bridge discovered, so it took me a while, so I cut it all out, as you can see here. So I get to Dragon Bridge, and no matter how much time you take, the dude will always be here. But once you reach Dragon Bridge, you gotta make sure you start following him. And as you can see, this becomes quite a pain as he jumps around from like place to place. Oh, sorry about. I always forget to sell things in between when I'm not doing missions. Now, as I just said, as soon as you reach Dragon Bridge. Uh, Gaius Maro, or whatever his name is, will start traveling. Now, one of the optional events is to steal his schedule, which at most points I find useless, but it's an optional objective, what are you doing and you know, for? it never hurts to do it. But the biggest pain is always trying to steal it without them noticing, because sometimes the dudes will be sitting in corners of the room, and I kind of got lucky because they weren't looking at me for a sec in that corner, but trick is just bring pick it up and bring it to wherever you want okay guys so after a while after countless Keep fast back, travels between I cities I, must I finally caught him in Riften I'm now sorry, he can be found really in any of the other Move places but unfortunately it took me a long time to find him but now the trick is to have a lot of poison. Now, unfortunately, I did not have any poison, and he is has high health. So, after a while of trying to figure out what to do, you just gotta figure out the right place to try to assassinate him, but as we all know, as soon as I started this game up, I stri went straight to the Assassin's Guild, so um, now, Stop I don't have enough weapons, Rending so you'll see in a sec how it was hard to kill him, but now that you see my two so followers, the ghost that you get, Where and Lydia, they're really good companions, as if they don't kill the dude, <laughs> if they kill somebody, you do not get a bounty. So, let's watch, see what I did. I don't have any business with you, so get out so of here. So, the place. trick around here is wherever he is, sometimes you can wait for Looking him to for sleep, or sometimes you can just find him, but here in the tavern, there's a lot of people, so you just gotta time it right and watch. 
So I Lydia got confused. in my way, stupid bitch. Trying to equip the more stronger arrow. And a shot in the head, and he's not dead. So I didn't want a bounty because I haven't joined the thieves guild yet, and you have to either go jail. You have to go to jail, I think. And so you, I just hit down here, let my two people handle it. My ghost, as I got from one of the previous missions, and my companion, which I got from doing the first few missions. Uh, he's down, and I believe you have to deliver the final blow, like I just did. But luckily, I closed the door, nobody saw, and all is good with the mission. Okay, guys, so finish the mission here. Sadly, only one assassination. Oh, and thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, yes, comment, and watch That's more of our awesome. Skyrim videos sure to be well coming out very soon. See you next time. This is Lil Jenk signing out. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. It's Cicero. There's been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain.